<coughs> oh, wait, what the hell? A package. Put on my glasses. Should put on my reading glasses so I can read the package. I have a sneaky suspicion what's in the package. You know why I have a sneaky suspicion? Because it's uh, oh Teespring. No, I don't have a sneaky suspicion. Hellbron, Kentucky. No, I actually don't have a sneaky suspicion. But let us open it up. What am I doing? You know, these packages are always. I mean, it's obviously a T-shirt because I can feel the shirt. It's great. Let's see what it say. But it should be the first to see it. What is it? Come on. What is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the Bible right there. Clam right there. Cross right there. Black man right there. It's just whatever. Wow. It says forever. I the B. Uh huh. com. Ah, this is from uh, uh, what's the name? Brother Ron. I the B. Can I tell you something? What's in here? Let me tell you something. That is right here. Back in the uh, in the nineties, like it's like ninety six, ninety seven, the ninety six when I left my job and I was I spent some months with my with my niece. She was in uh, I think she was in first grade or something like that. My niece. Well, this is what she looks like. Well, you can't see her now. <laughs> Wait, but this is what she see. This is the little tyke. That's for now. She's like 30. What about 30, 31? Is it like that? She just had that baby. That's just a little type right there. That's the one that tells you power to the peoples, right? Well, when she was in uh, first grade, she had to do a black history thing, you know? And so, you know, they had to dress up as whatever have you. So I said, hey, let's look up Ida B. Wells. So she played Ida B. Wells. This is my newest T-shirt. See, now, since I'm in communications, well, y'all don't know that. I mean, like, you know, my, under, my undergraduate degree is in communications. This is appropriate. Ida B. Wells. Like, I'm not going to tell you about it. You got you to research for yourself, you know. But it's a bad system. <laughs> it's a bad system. Oh, yeah. Got a new tape. Now, see, here's what happens. Here's what happens when I want to have something I really like. I don't wear it. <laughs> no, I mean, I wear it, but I don't, you know, it's got to be like, say, special occasion, but it's got to be. See, because nobody's going to know they got to get up there and read that. Oh man, and you know she, she she look we have we have this this COVID thing happening right now. They just came up with some new things. One thing you have to wear, they're telling you now you should wear. I'll put this right here for a second. Now they're telling you to wear goggles. I got stylish as goggles, cost of my brother, my older brother who passed. It was his, so he wears. You have to wear goggles. So I'll be wearing these guy stylistic goggles. I mean, along with the, the mask and whatever have you. That's one thing they're telling you. Now, see, Ida B was on, on, on the case. And they say, how come black people, you know, are dying at disproportionate? You know, of course, they throw other people are black. And I think Fauci just said black and Latino, whatever. Pfft. It's the neighborhood, right? It's the neighborhood. It was in that neighborhood first. Everybody come to our neighborhood. That's where they get what we, but the, the source is, and I'll get to that. But I had to be with be the one that we'd be telling them what's going on. She was reported a long time ago. Long time ago. Where's our Ida B's of today? I'm not going to answer that. This is a, 
Chew one tablet by mouth daily as blood thinner. Mm-mm-mm. From the VA. Socialized medicine. <laughs> it's for the one. I keep on telling you that. I wish I'm going to sneeze. Wait. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, it usually comes to two, so it might come again. Now, why am I taking blood thinner that the <coughs> VA sent me anyway? That would Well, mainly because they find it out. Guess what? With this virus, never report like Ida B would report to you. They're finding out now that, uh, first of all, they find blood clots all over the body, whatever, some of these people that died, whatever have you. Then they also find that people that recover, right? They still have problems. They have heart problems. Even if you're young and you recover, you might have some some something, I don't know how many percentage, like twenty-five, whatever percent of people that recover. Where, you know, they have they're having you know, stuff in their, you know, you know, problems in their heart. So if you hey, look, don't take this thing seriously if you want, but you know, you'll end up like Herman Cain. That's all I got to say, you know. I'm being me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I definitely know. I don't just suspect. I did my I to be research on this bad boy. You should too. Don't just listen to, get all the information you can and stop listening to the idiots, right? Stop listening to these idiots. Oh, gosh, I can't believe we listen to these idiots. Oh, man.